Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fall haul because that's what you guys asked for. I took a poll on Instagram and all y'all said that you wanted some fall hauls. I forget how much we love fall as women. Women love fall, okay? This is a fact. And men too, but I think women get a little crazy. They're like, ooh, it's time for my Uggs and my leggings. This is the time that it's acceptable. We love it. Let's go ahead and get into the fall haul. So listen, I hopped over to Zara real quick because I feel like when it comes to fall items, Zara is the plug, okay? First things first, I have been obsessed with these boots, like on another level obsessed. Boom, boom, boom. Snakeskin is huge right now. This is obviously faux. These are from Zara and I've been wearing them nonstop. I ordered them online, but they do have them in store. I was just there. I got size 38. I'm usually a size seven, which I think is a 37, but I always go up a size in boots because I like to wear thick socks, like at least half a size. But if they don't have half a size, then a full size. They're super cozy, super comfortable. I can walk forever in them. And every time I've worn these, I have gotten amazing compliments. I think they're gonna be like my go-to fall boots and these just make everything look like next level cute. Like I tried hard. I could wear some black jeans with a t-shirt and I put these on and it's like fashion. Instant fashion. This purse I thought was so cute. These little sporty straps are so in right now and it has this little chain detail here. And it's nice and silver, but it's not overly shiny silver, which I hate. I like when it's a little bit more dulled down. I feel like this would be so cute for running errands. Like I said, I'm loving like a giant oversized black t-shirt with everything right now because it's so cozy. And I feel like this with that would be so cute. I love that if you wanted to, you could take off the, uh, the chain and hold it like this depending on the vibe you're going for. And the best part about this Zara bag is that it was on sale for $29.99, which I feel like is a really good price. Very Bella Hadid, you know, just girl on the go, gotta go, so cute. Listen to me. This next item is what I like to call dual purpose. I like to get things from the men's section that I know that I will wear and then bring it home to Steven and be like, look what I got you, but really, it's for me. I'm gonna sell it like I got it for you, like that's my gift, look what I did, I got you this cute jacket. In reality, like I'm gonna be wearing it too. That's just something that I do, and it makes them feel good, it makes them feel like you thought about them. It's very, very, very good tip, okay? This jacket, I think, is so cute. It's from the Zara men's section, and really, I have been looking for a jacket like this for Steven for a long time for Steven, and he looks so cute in it. I just had him try it on downstairs in the kitchen. I think that wearing your boyfriend's jacket or your husband's jacket is just a vibe. This is it. This is a size large men's. Super cute, right? And this is lined like all the way around. It's not like just one of those that has like the only the lining in the collar. It actually fits Steven perfect like a glove and it fits me like an oversized boyfriend fit. So you get kind of like your money's worth when two of you are wearing it and you also get to make your significant other feel really good that you brought them home a gift. Gift. You know, he could wear it with like a black tee and when I say he just no, I'm talking about me. Jeans and like some chucks. You could be real cute, like boy slash girl next door. This is so cozy, I don't even wanna take it off. But anyways, I got that for us. Next, we have some belts. Belts, I feel, are such a good way to spice up an outfit. High-waisted belts that you can wrap around baggy clothing is super chic. Or you could just wear them, you know, with jeans and like a tucked in slouchy warm sweater. Zara has really, really cute belts right now. I got this belt right here. I love this gold accent and I love how it has the double little buckle situation here. Really chic, really nice. This is a size 80, which listen, honestly, like the belts never fit me, the high-waisted ones. So on Amazon, I actually ordered one of those belt hole punchers and I always have that handy so I never worry about that I just always try to get the size closest to mine and then I make it fit this belt was $29 and it's really nice for the holidays because it's actually black 
velvet, which gives it a little bit more of an elegance, a little more dressy feel. And you could just wrap this around anything and you look cute. It doesn't really go with my outfit now. Just imagine, you know, you have a giant t-shirt on and you just kind of put this through. Boom. Zara, okay? High-waisted belt, does not go with my outfit. Do not judge it with this outfit. They do have so many different options of belts right now that are high-waisted. I also decided to get this one because this is a simple black belt and it has the silver detail, but I've noticed that all my belts right now have gold accents. I mean, I wouldn't wear this belt with this, but do you see how there's like a silver accent on this? I can't wear, you know, a gold belt. So this one was actually perfect because it wasn't too crazy. It's simple, but it has enough design where I feel like it's fashionable. Edgy, like I said, throw it over any oversized t-shirt, a dress to add a little jazz. Accessories make such a huge statement, especially in fall, because a lot of the times we're wearing things that are really covered up, but if you add little accents like a cute bag, a little bit of a belt and maybe some earrings, that's really where the fashion comes in. I never realized how much accessories can change an outfit until I started like working with Jill. Jill actually helps style a lot of big like event outfits and it's just so amazing because I've learned so much from her and there's times where I'll try on an outfit and I'm like ugh. And then she goes, just give me a minute and she starts accessorizing, adding belts, tucking the shirt in and like all of a sudden it becomes this masterpiece that if I would have tried doing that myself, I would have given up on it right away. But it's really taught me that like accessories can change an outfit so drastically, which I never really thought. I love belts now because they just make such a huge difference. I know I've been talking about big baggy t-shirts, but they're just my fave. This is such a cute big baggy tee from Zara. I love it. I love this t-shirt. It's like a little bit more of a faded black, which I like because it looks like it's been worn. It looks a little vintage. And I love the neon lights. Neon is hot right now. Everyone's wearing neon. So I think that's kind of a cute twist on neon without, you know, going the full blown neon route. Should I put it on really quick so you guys could see? Boom. I would probably wear this with like some cute biker shorts and some booties. Listen, we could even throw this bag over it. Boom. Crossbody. Boom. Boom, super cute. The next shirt I got is this one. This is a boyfriend fit loose t-shirt, but it's a nice, almost like a corduroy material. It kind of is one of those shirts that me showing it to you right now doesn't look that appealing. Like it's kind of like, ooh, what is this? But when you put it on and you put like a bunch of necklaces with it, it has that really cozy boyfriend look, which I think is really sexy. It's, it's really warm and it's actually pretty thick. So if you're in LA and you need like a fake LA outfit for the winter slash fall, this is really cute. I also ordered some stuff for Steven for fall. Do you guys wanna see that? I feel like we're here, why not, right? If you're a boy watching or if you have a significant other. This is a really cute sweatsuit from Zara for men and how cute are these joggers? I love this color. It's like fall vibes. Okay, amazing color Steven looks great in this color because his eyes have like a hazel look So anytime he wears greenish browns like this it makes them pop and it looks so good And then there's a matching hoodie. I like outfits like this for him for like the airport I think that's so cute and he gets to be comfortable matching and with the fall vibes Every fall, I feel like there's a jacket that I will wear with everything. Something that goes with all my outfits and is gonna be really warm and comfortable. And every fall, I feel like I splurge on a really nice jacket. And it has to be an essential. Like it can't be a jacket that if you keep wearing it multiple times, it's like super noticeable. Like I feel like a leather jacket, that's a good jacket because you could wear it with everything. And I also feel like this jacket is one of those jackets. It's a little bit more on the pricey side, but I did buy a jacket that was similar to this and it was actually way more expensive last year. And now that I found this one, I'm upset because it was in comparison a lot cheaper. This jacket was $169, which for what it is, is a good price. It has like the really nice soft material 
These are so in right now. I feel like these are one of those jackets that are always gonna be in. The inside is all lined with that teddy bear material, if you will, and it's black, so it matches everything. You could throw it over a t-shirt. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say, That's my line. Throw it over a t-shirt. It has the vibes of a leather jacket, but it has the fur, so it gives it like a little extra something something. It's like the most comfortable, comfortable jacket that you can throw over everything. Throw on like some silver necklaces or maybe like some silver hoop earrings, like little ones. Game over, okay? This is gonna be my go-to fall jacket. Catch me in it, all fall, all winter. This is gonna be it. I was on Pinterest, as I do, okay? I was looking up easy fall decor ideas and I think that this is the most easy to do, less, amount of money to spend because listen, I just don't like to buy a lot of things that I think maybe I won't want later. And that has a lot to do with decorations. I have hard commitment issues. So let me tell you what you can do. This is heavier than I thought. Boom. This I think is so cute. And these containers you can get at the Dollar Tree. You can get them at Home Goods. You could pretty much get them anywhere. The pine cone bag, Home Goods and it smells incredible and now everyone's telling me my house smells incredible and it's a really nice way to just spice up the house for different seasons and you don't have to keep buying multiple decorations. I mean, obviously you're gonna want other things besides this, who knows? I'm very minimalistic, especially with fall decor. I'm gonna go ham during Christmas, but for fall I'm like, eh, I don't really care that much. I just want it to smell good and I want it to look cozy and homey. And that I feel like is the perfect um, way to have minimalist decor for fall. Should we talk about this lip color? Cause I feel like this is such a good color for fall. This is actually the Fenty Unveil Liquid Lip and I think it's such a nice color for the season. So I'm just gonna throw this in here because I really, really like it. That's pretty much all I have to say about that. Okay, and lastly for my fall haul, it wouldn't be a fall haul unless I had some Bath and Body Works candles, obviously. I mean, I can't even tell you how many I got. I got two full bags this size. I don't know if I should go through them all because that's like a whole video in itself. I'm gonna say this so wrong. Fresh balsam, balsam, balsam. This smells like a freshly cut Christmas tree. It smells amazing. If you want your house to smell like a Christmas tree, this is it and it's not super overpowering. I am going to burn the shit out of that one. Ooh, winter, this one is such a good one for the bedroom, okay? I wanted a candle for my bedroom that wasn't too sweet, too overpowering, just something really nice and calming so that at night I could light it. It's just enough Christmas without being too much of anything and it's more on the clean side opposed to like sweet. Then we have flannel. This, is, this one's kind of like, duh, you have to get it. This one's definitely clean. It smells like, like your man just did his laundry and freshly put cologne on and he just gave you a hug. Perfect description. Mm. I got two of these because, oh, so good. Then we have crushed candy cane. Oh, this one is full blown. Like if you were to take candy canes and just crush them up, that's probably why it's called crushed candy cane. But you know how some things lie, they say they're supposed to smell like something and then it's like, mm, that's a little bit off. No, this is legit. Then we got toffee brittle. This is definitely like you want your house to smell like you're baking something. It's not one of my favorites, but my brother really likes sweet scents, um, so I kind of got it for him, to be honest, because, you know, he's always here with me, so I'm like, I'll light this one for you. I ended up actually going through all the candles. I might as well, I'm here. Sweater weather, clean scent, nice candle. You can burn this all the time, and it's just like amazing. Okay, then we have mahogany teak wood. This just smells like a man's, like a man, okay. You know that scent that you smell on yourself after a guy wearing cologne hugged you? Like you have that scent and then you're kind of just like, I smell like him. That's kind of what this reminds me of, this one. Mahogany teak wood. And I like it. That's it. I went through all of them. This is the other flannel that I bought. Mm. It has been a minute since I've picked up some Bath and Body Works candles, but now is the time. If there's ever been a time, November, 
is when it is. There's just something about candles. They really help my mood, my vibe. I love them. At night, I just love to like light all the candles that are around my house, lay on the couch, maybe put the fireplace on and put a nostalgic movie on TV. That, <clears throat> that is my happy place. Curl up with the pups and Steven and just have like a little blanket. It just gives you so much warmth, love and happiness. Mm. Ugh, all of it, all of it. Honestly, let's be real. I'm gonna be getting ready for Christmas this whole month and I cannot wait. I'm already like feeling behind with Christmas decorations because Katie and her mom have already gone and I'm like, whoa. This is like my first real decorating Christmas that I'm gonna have. I feel like I did small decorations at my last place, but I wanna go like full blown Christmas, have a Christmas party, all the vibes. So yeah, I will be doing that this month. Thank you guys so much for watching my fall haul and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Uh, excuse me. I have this app that's supposed to help me record and pause and it's playing games with me right now. Ugh. I wanna be with you. You are currently not connected to any cameras. That bag is so loud. Honestly, technology, I can't. I'm gonna have to call Steven up here. I'm just trying to be a strong, independent woman. Trash. Trash. Honey? Can you come start, stop? My app has disconnected. Please? Thank you. Okay, boys, I'm done.